Hey guys, my name is here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so, along with the information about the new LR potential LR Bardock free to play card, uh, there was something else very interesting in the data download today. Um, there could be nothing, um, or it could be an indication of something very interesting. Um, so, shout out to Proton as always for posting all of the information, breaking down everything in the data download. Make sure you do go follow our boy if you are on Twitter. Um, stay up to date with all of this data download info. Data downloads very often happen at really early hours of the morning for me. So very often I'm having to make these videos quite a bit after the information has come out. But I still like to make them just to give you guys my thoughts on, you know, any information that we have gotten and you know, what my opinions on it. So the character ID for this card was changed. The good old uh, STR Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku that transforms into a golden ape. Now... That doesn't seem on its surface like it really means a huge amount, right? So there's a follow-up post here to anyone wondering what this is about. He went from character ID 332 to 741, Super Saiyan 3 Goku GT to Super Saiyan 3 Goku GT. I mean, those two things look exactly the same, but the difference is that ID 741 has a tail and ID 332 does not. So he now uses the tail battle sprites. So essentially the sprite did not have a tail before and now he does. And essentially that's it. Right, essentially that's all the update is, right? The character ID was changed, so now his sprite in-game on JP, if you were to go, you should see, if you're on JP, you can load it up and take him into an event now, he should have the sprite that has the gold uh, tail. Now, that in and of itself wouldn't really be anything too interesting, right? Not exactly a newsworthy video, but the reason why it is interesting is the reason behind, like, why have they done this, right? It's very unlikely, and it's not something that happens very often, where Global will go in and update sprites and stuff for characters, and then nothing happens, right? Um, sometimes it takes a while. Um, like, they updated um, some Nappa and Vegeta sprites, and then a little while later we got that tech side banner unit with the Nappa and Vegeta. They updated, I think it was the Android 21 um, sprite at some point, and then we got the Android 21 Dokkan Fest. It was a little while later. It wasn't like, you know, within a few weeks or even a month or so. It was quite a bit later. But usually, whenever they've done anything like this, where they update these character sprites information or anything like that, it's because something is coming in the future, whether it be an update to the unit or whether it be a new unit of a similar type. So... Obviously, if we go over to the wiki here, the first thing that we could presume from this is that the STR Super Saiyan 3 Great Ape Goku is about to get an easy A, right? Because if he's going to be used again or usable again, um, they've updated the sprite so he has the tail because he's going to be getting an easy A, so people are going to be using him again. So they want him to have the updated character sprite information. Now, that could be one option. Now, this guy, I mean... He's got to be one of the oldest units, right, that doesn't have an easy A. Him and the other second anniversary side units. There's like the physical uh, pan and STR trunks, the int baby as well. Like this guy came out with the second anniversary. So this year he's going to be seven years old, um, which is kind of crazy. He still doesn't have an easy A. Um, all allies attack 33% and randomly turns into a great ape, which is what? Is it 10% chance or 15? 10%. <laughs> and that's it. Now, the funny thing is, obviously, when this guy came out, he came out for the second anniversary uh, with this guy. And if you had the two of them together, they were absolutely insane, right? They had the links like Saiyan Raw, which is a really big link. Even this was back before the link level update, but it was still doing 25% attack. Obviously, they had uh, Fierce Battle. Do you have Kamehameha as well? um yes you do so they shared a ton of links i think this guy was like the first character that could con could consistently hit over a million attack stat uh, when you had these two guys together they were the hardest hitting rotation in the game at the time so this guy getting an easy a would be super cool obviously he's a very old unit right supreme damage raises attack for three turns I mean, realistically, this needs to be, like, greatly raises attack and defense for three turns or something, right? Um, all allies hopefully attack and defense, you know, an actual passive start of turn defense, maybe some dodge. Um, one thing I saw someone say on the stream earlier today, which I think would be very cool, is because this guy was always such a great partner for this Super Saiyan 4 Goku, imagine they give him the ability that, like, Path to Power Kid Goku has, where if you pick up a certain number of orbs, you give all allies on the rotation extra damage reduction, because that would potentially make the uh, Int LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku 
have a bit of a comeback, right? Because this guy hasn't aged the best because he wants to be a slot one unit. But the hits that he's taking in slot one, especially from the hardest bosses, can sometimes be a bit much for him. So if he had a link partner like that STR Goku, giving him a ton of links, including Saiyan Raw, and then giving him extra damage reduction, then maybe he could see like a second lease of life, which would kind of be cool. So very interesting to see if this guy could get an easy A. He definitely could be very good. Um, there is another Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku that does not have an easy A yet, which is this guy, but he's not a Super Saiyan 3 Goku Great Ape. Now, he is just Super Saiyan 3 Goku GT, so I guess in terms of the character sprite, that's the most important thing, but his one hasn't been updated. He doesn't have a tail in the art, so I'm assuming that his one hasn't been changed, which means no potential future easy A for this guy. I mean, he could still get one. Like, if this guy gets an easy A, then maybe he will as well, although he did come out, like almost a full year later, at least for Global. Um, I remember him and the Vegeta when they got their TUR Awakenings. They were actually relatively decent, like, for the time. Um, but this guy's a very old Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku. And, of course, the other thing that this could indicate, because, as we said, right, these all led to new units. The Sprite for 21 being updated led to a Dokkan Fest 21. The Sprite for the Vegeta and Nappa led to the Banner unit Vegeta and Nappa. I think there's been at least one or two other instances of this as well. So with the Sprite for this guy being updated, especially with him being the one that transforms into a giant uh, Great Ape, is that there's been speculation or at least a fan desire or need for some time for a Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku that has the very first Super Saiyan 4 transformation. So for me, this makes it feel like that is something that is going to be in the pipeline, right? And we are going to see a new Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku. Maybe he has like a standby where he becomes a giant ape. And then once the standby is over, he transforms into Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Because we don't have the animation for the very first Super Saiyan 4 transformation actually in the game. Which is kind of crazy. So I think we could definitely see a Super Saiyan 3 Goku that transforms into Super Saiyan 4. Now on JP, of course, we have the Tanabata celebration coming up next month. Um, and while Global is having the anniversary, JP will get the Tanabata celebration, which is always essentially what we would see from like a dual Dokkan Fest, where we have two characters that go together, usually from fighting each other. It's usually a Super Type and an Extreme. So we could see something like a Super Saiyan 3 into Super Saiyan 4 Goku and then a baby. The only thing that makes me a little bit apprehensive, of course, of saying that it's going to be Tanabata is this guy who we already talked about was the Tanabata unit for last year. So I don't think they would do Super Saiyan 4 Goku two years in a row, especially because the animations from um, his fight are largely from the fight against Baby. So even though Baby wasn't involved at all and we got LR Omega as the part two LR, we essentially already got Super Saiyan 4 Goku from Super Saiyan 4 Goku versus Baby um, as last year's Tanabata celebration. Now, that doesn't mean it's impossible, right? I don't know if they have ever done that where two of these like... I don't want to call the Tanabata celebration a major celebration, but it's not one of the filler ones. Um, I don't know if they've ever done that, have they? Where two years in a row, one of these slightly more important celebrations has had the exact same theme. I guess, like, at the end of the day, it's not impossible, unless they do actually have an unwritten rule at Akatsuki that they can't do the same th theme two celebrations in a row, like the same celebration of the year. But um, I think it's a little bit unlikely, but... Like I say, with the 21, with the Nappa and Vegeta, they didn't come out straight after this update was made in the database. So it's still very possible. Like, considering where we are now, it could be worldwide. It could be, like, the New Year Jewel Dokkan Fest, and they've just done it this early for some reason. Because we know from that uh, post, you know, when... When we got that producer letter for Global that didn't really give us a ton of like new information, they did say in there that it can take anywhere sometimes up to like eight months to make new LRs. So if they're making like the worldwide celebration LRs and one of them is going to be a Super Saiyan 3 Goku into Super Saiyan 4 Baby, it makes sense that they would already have been working on this card for some time. And maybe now is just the point in whatever the schedule is or like, you know, this list of bullet points of what they need to do in what order and stuff like that. We could just now be at the point where they're like, oh, let's update this like sprite in the files because the new Goku is going to use that sprite for the Super Saiyan 3 form, potentially. So because it's being uh, updated in the files now doesn't mean that the unit is about to come out now. But 
It could be a unit that's already been in process for a little while, like the Worldwide. Could be New Year Jordan Fest. Honestly, like it could still be Tanabara. Like I say, it's not impossible that they do Super Saiyan 4 Goku two years in a row. I just think it is a little bit unlikely. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, you know, it might be again like the 21 and the Napa and Vegeta thing. Like when that happened. People were posting saying like, oh, this is going to be like the next Dokkan Fest or something like that. And then obviously it wasn't. And we had to wait quite some time to actually see that updated unit come into play, right? So it could be quite a while until we hear anything about this again. Like some people might even forget that this happened by the time we actually get to the point where a unit is going to release. That certainly is very possible, but... I thought it'd be interesting to talk about now so that you guys can let me know what you think. I do think it means we are going to be leading towards the release of a new Goku that goes from Super Saiyan 3 into Super Saiyan 4. At least that's what I'm hoping. Um, no idea how long it will take for us to actually get that, of course, but I do think that would be very cool. I would love to see uh, a Super Saiyan 3 Goku with the first Super Saiyan 4 transformation in the game. Anything that is a Super Saiyan 3 buff is always welcome to me because I love the Super Saiyan 3 category. So let me know what you guys think down below. Would you like to see an EZA for this guy? I mean, this guy, of course, if we get a new Super Saiyan 3 Goku that transforms, this guy absolutely should EZA in that celebration. So the best of both worlds is we get the new unit and we get this guy get an EZA. And then, hey, this guy potentially get an easy A2 along with the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta counterpart for him. Um, and then we'd get a load of buffs for the Super Saiyan 3 team as well as GT Heroes. Um, so that would all be very cool if we got all of that all at the same time. So let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think this means a new Super Saiyan 3 Goku? Is it just an easy A for this guy? When do you think we'll see it come out? Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.